It's one thing to be hungry, but there's one thing to be hungry. Yeah. You know yeah. yeah. You know? yeah. There's a difference. I can, you know, like the people like me, I, I got a full-time job. Right. I'm trying to do part-time, so I'm not as hungry. hungry but exactly. if I was, yeah. then I'd be doing <laughs> The things I need to do, That's but right. I, I'm not gonna, you know, I want, I don't want to put that in my mind that, you know, I don't want to do it that right. way. So I want to mm -hmm. act like, well, okay, this is my full time job. Exactly, exactly. exactly. That's That's right. Right. Yes. Like you said, like exactly. you said, change your mind. Right. Change my mind. It's all up right. to it. When you change your mind, you're gonna be an animal. Mm -hmm. You come from all from Newport News to be a train on Thursday. Mm -hmm. I got eggs living around the corner on coming to the train. Mm -hmm. So what that tell you? So he ready. Right. See what I'm saying? So I can't sell him short. You know what I mean? I gotta let him know. Look at yo. I'm, we, I mean, I am as aggressive as you want to be. Mm -hmm. We'll take you places you never been before, and we're gonna have more folks. We'll have loan officers, you know, coming to us trying to buy a house. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, so it's the mindset. Mm -hmm. I can't walk on my feet. I got feet. Just my feet don't. Ha 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 ha. You know what I'm saying? Always some reason why you can't get out there. You know what I mean? And soldier up. We got folks over there in countries who got nothing to eat. No other live. No shoes on. No shoes on. And we complain about everything. Well, they don't have grind. They complain about everything. That's because you're so afraid of everything. All you know how to do is complain. Mm -hmm. You know, but you're, you're individual. Independent. Ain't nobody going to give you nothing out here. Mm -hmm. And you got to realize that as soon as, I don't care how long you've been married or your spouse loves you, they still got their own life to live. They still an individual. You know what I'm saying? That's and the only way you're going to have anything for two people is that both people got to be bringing something positive to inspire each other. You can't be dragging nobody, riding around on somebody back all the time. They're going to be tired of carrying you in a minute. Right about that. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be like, man, I'm just yeah. tired of carrying yeah. you on yeah. to do. Yeah. But we married. I'm your friend. My back hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Let me rest. I want to rest and get some energy because I, I have dreams and things I want to do. You know what I mean? I watch all the rap videos and I want to be like 50 Cent and just, you know what I'm saying? I want to dress like Jay-Z and, you know what I'm saying? I want to have those things. I want to like, like my song I like with uh, Jay-Z and um, uh, uh, Janet Jackson's uh, man, you know what I mean? Money ain't a thing. That's all. I love that song. Let me ride, let me ride, let me go. Six feet, eight, money ain't a thing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Although, you know, but see, you can have what you want to have. You really can. You ain't got to sit back watching the videos all the time, wanting, about wishing you know, have what that's what they're talking about. They don't have anyway. Maybe not Jay Z, they got this. But yeah. I mean, 80 20. You know, you can best believe that everybody on, on, the, on the videos ain't in their own house. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they, you know what I mean? How many stars you know that say, you know, well, I'm not with this company anymore because they, you know, by the time they get to get their money out, the artists, only got, you know, and you running the more artists than anybody, you know, we can, anybody can imagine that I ain't have the real. They all got to come for this man right here. If they want to be on the radio, you know, so, and all of them, man, you know, they ain't coming in and breaking him out cash money, a couple of grand, you know, you know what I mean? I'm going to tell y'all the truth. After that jury, you see him on Wade's Hot Dance. What's that? After that jury, you see him on his video, it's not there. Oh, oh, yeah, you know. Right. Yeah, yeah same thing with yeah. the team. Just like a lot of the big stars. The you know? Grammys and the Oscars, yeah. right. I'm wearing a um, Dickie from, um, <laughs> the jury is a million dollars, you know what I mean? They, they just make it better. Like, yeah. You wearing a jury, all right, but as soon as you get better, they know, you know, all right, take it off. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, so, and if people are inspired and they like to see other people and what they have and everything. I'm not, I don't care about what, I'm not hating Jay Z and, and all them guys for what they got. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I'm just trying to get mine. You know what I mean? I want to get me a nice chunk, too. You know what I mean? How do I get it? You know what I'm saying? I can sing a little bit. I can dance a little bit. I rap a little bit. You know what I mean? But are you exhausting all your avenues of your talents? So you got to get out and get out of your comfort zones and start, you know, get, exactly. please get out the comfort zones. Right, right. That's yeah, what I'm talking right. about. Man, yeah. get out. Stop. Uh, because it's raining outside. So what? That's it. Put a raincoat on and a hat on. That's it. And go pass with the postcard. <laughs> it's cold right outside. Right. So what? Right. So what? Right. So what? Right. It's cold outside. What if you go out there today and somebody want to buy a house? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and they call you. You know what I mean? Yeah. I got this client. You be off on the. I got this client right here. It was raining outside. It was cold. But I just went out, you know, a little neighborhood, jump in the car, boom, boom. And they call me that day. Mm -hmm. They might see say, wow, you out in the rain doing this? Wow. You showing sure love something, something. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You around his neighborhood again, boy, you all, do you ever go home? You know what I mean? You know, I'm, I'm just trying to earn some business, you know. I want to show people that, you know, there are some people out here who wanted to work for a living. 
and, 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 and stay focused and disciplined the whole time. And take care of your business so that way you be proud of me and send all your clients to me. I'm, I'm not moving no time soon. You know what I'm saying? And I would love to have some buyers in June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Yeah. I want them to line them up with good credit, bad credit, have them organized, know where they at, what the birthdays are, and stay in contact with them. They'd be like, you call it. How do you know it was my birthday? Because when I called you three years ago, you told me in three years you're buying a house. I'll be waiting. Did you see me outside the house? He said, wow. You know, you know, so the comfort zone. What's comfortable? Comfortable? Oh, man, that's a big mistake. You see, you ain't comfortable. You can't get comfortable right now. If you, the only thing, comfort is a comfort cover the price. You know what I mean? What is comfort? That's being you being able to do what you want to do, when you want to do it, live where you want to live. You know what I mean? Like I was talking to um, Yvette Lewis today. She said that um, you know, her father is Bishop Lewis, and you know, he's like 65, and, and, and Social Security stuff sending him his checks. He said, send him checks back. He said, I ain't ready for that. Because, you know, as a, with, with the... With the, with the um, Ministry, you know, you on tax or whatever, you know, and you got the 5013C, and you <laughs> come into my income, you know what I mean? He said, I ain't ready for them checks, I'm going check back. You know what I'm saying? So, excuse me, yeah, I'm just, don't worry about that right now, because, you know, don't want me in my business, that's more my money. You right. see what I'm saying? Send me a little $500 a month. Talking about, here's your, you old enough. You know, that's okay, I'll hold on to you, I'll hold on to that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We'll let that be, you know, my gas money when I need it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's comfort. Comfort zone. You know what I mean? I'm trying to be old. You know what I mean? I'm trying to be old. 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 I'm trying to I'm in the pool over there in the morning with women 95 years old, busting me up. I'm there going, <laughs> and they like, mm -hmm, <laughs> laughing me, mm -hmm. and I'm like here, and I can tell you, I'm like, <laughs> they like, like, and each lap, I'm like this here, each lap, I get like, I'm like, <sighs> rest of the wall, like, I'm chilling. And they like, I'm saying, 90, 100 years old, <laughs> bang and When I see people in them, man, I mean, I'm embarrassed me in the pool. You know what I mean? Because they, they doing it. Consistently. I come in there, you know, once a week, whatever. I wish I, I got to get there more often. That's the most beautiful thing in the world is laps. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, honey, it's all in there. Laughing me out. Mm -hmm. Laughing at me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, 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 you know, and I can swim a little bit. I'm going to put you on. I'm going to get this now. I got it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, how that big people like a war? You that? That's Olympic stuff right there. Yes, sir. You know? That's where Florida and Daphne just came from. Bought that $300 house. But that's where Daphne was in the pool up there. You know what I mean? And some other lady at the pool, for, you know, and I see everybody, how you doing? She called me, this is Daphne. I'm at the pool up there. We want to buy a house. Credit's going $800. $800. I'm like, wow, y'all do? How do you get my number? But Georgia gave it to me. What? That old lady gave you my card and we both. I ain't mad at it. You know what I mean? Let everybody know what you're doing. <coughs> but the comfort zones, mm -hmm. you see, get uncomfortable right. Right. as soon as possible. And then you can start getting something. Yeah. You know, if you're comfortable all day, I'm tired. Yeah. I'm sleeping. That is it. You know, I'm hungry. <laughs> I want to rest. Uh, you ain't starving yet. Come on, yes. man. You got that right. Yeah. Yeah, you gonna get somewhere if you're running around here in this world at this time with these issues. You know what I'm saying? And you watching the news every day. People out here starving, homeless, ain't got nothing, and we satisfied. You know, we satisfied. You know, it's just I don't understand. You know what I mean? I don't understand. I'm like, you know what? Like I said, I didn't tell you to hear, but like I said, um, guys from Keller Williams interviewed me yesterday. The, the company called me over to the realty consultants and they wanted me to merge with them. They ain't the first guy to ask me, you know what I mean? But they're like, you know what? When they got, as I broke them down, homeboy said, Look, I need to cancel this meeting and I need to get you rescheduled for it. I need to go back to Keller Williams, the guy who wrote the book, um, Millionaire Real Estate Agent, Clark Keller. That's Keller and Williams. That's who I met with yesterday. And they, they were trying to bring me in to join companies. And he said, You're so far beyond what we came here for today. He said, Let me regroup. Go to my people, to get out, but you need, to, you need to be traveling doing what you do at our expense. I said, well, you know, holler back at me, holler back at me. And I said, Leo, what's your man? like, hey, the chicken's running around. I hit that class coming in here, chicken's running around the office. He's <laughs> like, Charmaine, um, how we got chickens in the office and everything, you know what I mean? Uh, the chicken make a place where, you know, you know the vibe out there, you know, the you know, the boo -boo. that chicken. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But seriously, you know, so, so, so I'm seeing people in this office around me, and I'm asking them things like, I asked you today, I could have hung you today. Like this right here. Tell me you went in a loan officer to get back with you. And then he called me back. He going to Florida. I'm going to get the people to Kelly. Don't Kelly go down tomorrow when I talk to him. 
And then and they'll be under contract and closed before he get back on Monday. She a beast. You know what I'm saying? Jerry, he didn't okay. response from him until You're right. it's not your fault. Yesterday. It's not your fault. You were comfortable with him. Well, if you if you want to make the window shorter, I make the window shorter. No, keep it lift it up. I mean, if you Reach want out. to respond, be down the house. You know what I'm saying? It ain't your fault. It's not, it's not, it has nothing to do with you. It has, it's about people who come and stand up here and say what and independence and realty mm -hmm. in front of me and my people and tell us lies. A bunch of lies. Six and things that they don't do. And all they're doing is the same thing agents do. We do the same thing. We get in the business, say we're going to be a big man one day or America's next top businessman, and we get in this business and we do nothing. Nothing. Years pass and agents do nothing. You know, and there are millions and millions and millions of dollars out there and you claim you want some of it. But you're afraid to come out of your comfort zone because you won't get home on time because you you, you, you don't want to cold call two hours because you're scared to be. Man, back in the day I was in this office right here. Never left this office before 10 o'clock at night. Never left it. I came out of the Navy, a two-door Dodge coat that was always hot. <laughs> Me and my wife, she worked on the base. I get her. I was an HT in the Navy. Come home, welded slag all down my neck every day. Doodle -doo all on my pants and everything, I'm chasing uncalled toilets all day. And I'm, you know, and I go home, four o'clock, take a shower, come up here with a white shirt and tie on. They leaving out that door, I'm coming in this door, office shut down. You know what I mean? And I was here every night till 10 o'clock, cold calling. I met Period. him back in 80 what? 87, 88? Yeah, about 88, 89. He was. Yeah. <laughs> right here, this office. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Now I can contest yeah. that. Yeah. You know? That's when I met him. Yeah. Back in 87, 88. Shoot, I could be, we could have offices right now up to up to Atlanta, everywhere else. Independence Realty. You know what I'm saying? Not Jerry L. Sheely. Real estate, you look like a lot of folks do. I said, no, I want my name on it. I want to be able to hand, hand it to somebody one day for, for a check. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. That's what it's about. You know what I mean? I was, this, this, I, mean, I, I was 27 with that. I said, you know, no, I want my name on it. Oh, no, no, uh, give me another name. Independence, Independence Boulevard, Independence, I like the Independence. Free, not, oh, yeah, Independence, yeah, do that. Independent, call it independent realty. Independent. I don't want to be attached to nobody. Do it my way. You know what I'm saying? So now, you know, come on, you want to give me a check? Give me a check. How much you give me? I'll bring every agent I got with you. With you. Give me enough to break all y'all off by 10 grand as well. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 10 grand a piece, I get a million and a half. That's even, even. No. <laughs> the numbers are right, right? Get, get, no. get the number sheet right. You know what I'm saying? No. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but we, you know, the, this news is not good out here. They always trying to scare you, you know what I'm saying, man. I got bills, and no, I got, I got at my house. I got the same, the same boys right there are at my house in my office <laughs> with bills from my stuff, the company, all over the place. And I go home sometimes. I got a chair in the middle of it with a TV and everything. And I just go and I just sit in there and be like, "You can't pay none of these damn bills. <laughs> <laughs> you can't." But it looks good though, cause boy, you at least you know where they at. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You can't pay none of these damn bills, can you? You know what I'm saying? You don't tell me you got some bills. You don't know what a bill is. Panoramic <laughs> view. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You gotta see it, baby. I don't wanna have it like everybody be like, in the, my bills in this cloud, all, all of them under here. Oh, no, 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 I can't sleep like that. I need to at least see them. I need to know when to cut off. I need to know when the dead line is. You know what I mean? Hit that one up like, you know what I mean? I'll be throwing, you know what I'm saying? I'll be like a samurai holding the uh, uh, power door. This is open. That's it. They gonna disconnect the cable at the office tomorrow. <laughs> Shut them down, man. Homes they need. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. All nickels. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? So, but 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 but, but like Kanye West say, mm -hmm. wait till I get my money. Right. 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 You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When it, you know, when I get a hundred, two hundred agents bringing me a thousand dollars a month piece. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You, you know, it's just gonna be bananas. Yeah. You know, but you don't get there. You gotta put it to work. Right. And there's plenty of time mm -hmm. for me to. I need leaders, man. I don't, it's, it's just me. Mm -hmm. Can't get people to come out of their comfort zone. Mm -hmm. Everybody's comfortable, mm -hmm. and that's a that's a mistake in this world. Mm -hmm. You get over 21 years old, you should be sweating. Mm -hmm. Because when you know you're getting older, and you, and let me tell you something. Ain't nobody gonna give you nothing. That's true. <laughs> you don't have nothing out here. <laughs> so you know. 
if you put $10 a month in the bank at age 21, when you get 65, you have a million dollars. But you know who that? You so big. Your mama and over there in your piggy bank. It's still in there. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh. They're going. <laughs> they're keeping the lights on in the morning. Mommy, my money, no, my money. Oh, baby, I'll your head down somewhere. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's what, that, that's, that's what we learned from them. You know I mean? My assets ain't left me nothing. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got an inheritance. Anybody left me no business or nothing. I ain't got nothing. What, what, what the shit we been doing? No. For the last hundred years. <laughs> what y'all been doing? Oh, so it's been hard out here. You know what I'm saying? Slavery. It's slavery a hundred years ago. Y'all just lazy as hell. That's it. We your parents. You better respect us hell. Right? You got no money. I ain't got no real love for you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Something got to change around here in, the, in this household right here. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? A uh, uh, toast with, <laughs> with, with, with jelly and, uh, and butter on it. You know, all that stuff, you know. We trying to, I had a young girl who, um, one of my artists, you know what I'm saying? Artists. She wanted to rap. And I told her to put down on paper something to make me feel like you a real rapper. She come in, she's from North Folk, you know what I mean? Yeah, I came up hard and my mom was a single mother. And I said, like, you know, I get this. I can, I can hit that on every rap story, you know what I'm saying? There ain't no fire in there. Ain't no fire in there. There ain't no fire. You just trying to sound like a rapper. Come back when you can write me some pain. Some, I didn't say blood on the paper. You got no blood on the paper, you ain't saying nothing. But the same thing everybody else is saying. So we got to get some blood, you know what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of folks, you know, a lot of folks out here doing the same thing you're doing. You know what I mean? Imagine if all the agents were gone, it was only us. Only company in town, you know what I'm saying? That's how I feel about it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Only real estate agent in Hampton Roads is me. And there ain't no competition. So when am I going to get up? So see, that's, we act like that's just the way it is now. We ain't got to go do nothing because you're the only agent around anyway. That's not true right now. You ain't, you're the only agent in the world until you make, the, you make your world. And then you become the only agent. And see, if you got, you, know, you can only do so much. If, you, if you're selling five houses a week, trust me, you're going to feel like <laughs> you're the only agent in the world, and you still ain't even do, you ain't touching nothing. You know what I mean? But you, but you got five closes a week. You put about twenty five grand in your pocket a week. That's ridiculous. Hundred grand a month. What? Trust me, you're gonna be so busy. You ain't gonna you gonna, you're gonna feel like the only agent in the world. That's bananas. And that, that's a beautiful thing. It is. You know. So you can, okay, no, I work too hard. I can't be having no five closes a week. I'm gonna go with two. No. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, twenty grand a week. How many people you don't make eighty thousand dollars a month? And when you get that kind of money, then I'm be I'm be at, looking at the house and then my billboard saying, "Damn, I want to write something up there." <laughs> All these three clean white, you know what I mean? Boy, ain't no bill nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Bills, I got so much loot. The bills don't even stay on the wall long enough. My wife be like, "Hey, but electronic, you pay them all." You know what I mean? What bill? You know what I mean? Oh. Bills, money. You know, they're the money up here and the bills down there. Comfort zone. I don't care who it is. Sonya Ablon, get you some tennis shoes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And get on the street. You know what? You did tell me you ready for, you ready for a box of postcards. Yeah. yeah. Sure did. You sure did. You, you leave me a check for you. leave me a down now. Like, what's your postcard? Huh? <laughs> what you said, sir? You know? She was going to write me a check. Yes. I've been trying to write you checks two days ago. Tell me how much it was. Now we hope we're out of time. You know, I want to get to. I'm gonna do. Uh, are you ahead? Yes. Let's do one objection handling technique per, per person. All right. We're gonna do one apiece. These are uh, tough calls. No. I'm gonna ask everybody one question. All right. And these are the the tough call flash card, which is a portion of my in, my invention. Fifth grade graduate, fifth, I went up in fifth grade, that's far as I went. You know what I mean? By the way, no Walmart, write me a check, you know what I mean? For the top call last time. And what we do is, you know, we gotta learn how to handle objections. You know, buy a seller on the phone with you, and then you call them, and they you you fishing, and they on the phone, yeah, you they talking to you, you're like, well, we wanna buy a house, but we um, you know, we just gotta, you know, our lease ain't up for three more months and we, we don't know what to, we, don't, we don't know what to do. You gotta be Hey, let me, I can handle that. How much is your rent? We pay 800 bucks a month. You know, I, 24 hours, I can get a seller to pay your rent. I'll put them three months. You ain't got to pay them rent no more. Let's go find a house this weekend. Exactly. You mean that for real? Yes. Nah, if I don't, I'll pay it myself. No, I ain't paying it myself. <laughs> I, 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 I know not, that. I'm that's what you say on the inside. No, I don't. <laughs> but they got to hear you say, you'll pay it yourself. You ain't got to let it go. Uh, I'm like, you ain't, y'all, I, I, I ain't say I, I ain't really say I was going to pay it. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's what I not what I meant. I said I felt like paying it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Somebody gonna say that. Why? Yeah, you find a house where a seller ain't paying nothing, but you love the house. I mean, we gotta find one where the seller is paying. I'm gonna I'm gonna with you the house. All right. So these are the um, you know, and of course there there there, there are three things that you gotta do, no matter who it is, whether it's a buyer or a seller. The three things you wanna do. What are they? Number one, you wanna you get a client on the phone. Regardless of whatever, what are the three things you want to do? Before you give all your information away and everything else for free. Get, the get an appointment. What else? Find out what they're interested in as far as buying or... No, they know what it is. We got three distinct Pretty things qualified. that you got to do. Get an and one of them is... Interview. Get an appointment. Okay. What's the other one? <laughs> what's the third one? I can't find it though. What was the second one? Get your foot in the door. Get an appointment. And what's the other one? Take care of it. Pre-qualify. <laughs> what's this? What? Full of man? <laughs> okay, what do you mean? Uh, Mr. John, I need you to. What? Come on. Seto. Mr. John, could you? Cito? C I T O. C I T O. Could you, could you guys, do you have time to? Cito? Cito? I can't remember. Come into the office. Bam! <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Come into the office. <laughs> Are y'all embarrassed or <laughs> what? <laughs> this man ain't even been to school yet. <laughs> and I said, Cito, he like. What is he waiting on? Man, say, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What? See, this is the kind of stuff, you know what I mean, that really, you know, y'all are like, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? If nothing else can verify you slipping, this is the kind of stuff right here can make you feel like, wow, am I slipping? I'm in here every Thursday last year. Mm. And this guy ain't been here but a minute. Mm. He talking about something coming to the office. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't have to come I'm throwing out the, I'm throwing out the words. I'm throwing C to out. Your house. I'm, right I'm all like right. this. <laughs> Mr. John, could you come into the office? Mr. John, can you come into the office? Y'all like. You like this? I'm looking back here, show me. You know what I'm saying? My staunchest trainers over here. Look, here's what I am like. Oh, greasy palms over here. You know what I'm saying? Chicken fingers over here. That chicken heart. <laughs> Greasy paws over here. Come on, where she go? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Sitting down, chilling. Come on. And she ride with me. She ride with me, son, on the street. Oh, we leave out of here together, me and her on the street. <laughs> After training, she be like, "This road, dog." I'm like, "Good, son." <laughs> she over here talking about something. <laughs> and, and, my, and, and my so called office, everything over here, every person I ask, here she go. <laughs> me wish me was about who I'm in the man, go. You know what I'm saying? That's exactly what I was doing. I don't know what you think, right now. Every man, here she go, here she go. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> She back home in palm trees and everything. We hope you don't come this way here. <laughs> Cito, Miss Brickhouse. That's what I mean about you guys leaving your money on the floor. Yeah, I know. Because you just, yeah. you know, when you ain't right, just. Chad, whatever. The little things. <laughs> say anything. I'm just saying about little things. Little oh, things. Yes. Okay, let me get y'all here. Okay. Everything is abbreviated. Oh, my God. Yeah. Good acronyms. Yeah, good acronyms. They yeah. know, okay. Real quick right here. Um, real estate career. Your real estate career, 
must go through cold calling. Yes. You cannot have a real estate career right. if you do not get on the telephone and call some folks and ask them to why, tell, tell them why you're in the business. You're right. You know, because you can touch more people. Put a man in the desert with a phone, he can touch more people. Mm -hmm. You, know, you got to get folks on the telephone and get them to start talking to you. Well, we thought about buying a house, like I had a client the other day, who was that, um, a best client, so from the post, from the postcard. They called in, well, we got your postcard on the door, because you were on 51st Street, when we were last week, down in the neighborhood. We went from, from we went from, from, from 69th to, 50, that was the last street we hit, 51st Street. That's where they live at. I don't know what house, I'm all in the back, and they, I'm all, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You want a postcard? <laughs> you don't know, you a pit bull, oh, you bad, that's what I chain on you, the chain broke. <laughs> I got my keys out, right, right now, I got one shot, one shot, right, they call, we, we, we got your postcard on our door, and here's a postcard with a, a business card stapled to it. That's right, that's what you and got. And I got agents right. tell me, well, I don't want to go out prospecting until I get my own postcard. Nah, you got to do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, you can use mine. Oh, well, right. sir, I, I ain't crazy, but I ain't no fool. <laughs> and you ain't no real, you ain't real, you don't really know what's going on either. That's it. Um, you know what I'm saying? I keep a thousand postcards here now. Staple your right. car on it. Yep. Some Make some boom. stickers. I got what stickers. Up? I put on here all the time. I make little stickers on my phone. Right, gotcha, mm -hmm. gotcha. mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. When you're on the phone call, they can't see you, but they can what? They can hear you. They can feel you. They can smell you. My name is Joe, and I'm from Independence Realty, and I'm calling, seeing you on my dying out. Before they even ask you hanging up. They can't see you, but they can what? Maybe hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> got a chicken on the line. Chicken on line too. A professional agent calling me and he's scared. Mm -hmm. I'm, and we, I'm going to get this chicken on the line. <laughs> 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 Baby, I, 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 I want to call you. Know, you want to? Like, Excuse me? <laughs> You're a professional. We're having dinner right now. Can we have a anything? But we calling your neighborhood because we are. Uh, they said that I, my broker told me to call your house and ask you a question. <laughs> they like, look, will you get off my telephone, you, <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? You call them, you call them scared. You know what I'm saying? They don't know who you are, but you're scared. And, and, a, and a professional, and got a license on the wall. You went to school. You got a license. I'm going to go out there and take care of the public one of our house. That's what I want to do. I'm get paid. I'm going to get paid. I'll make good money for it. But you're scared. You know, you gotta get this fear out of your heart. You know, before it's too late. Cause we it getting older out here. Fear, stop being afraid of getting making money. Stop being afraid of being successful. Stop being afraid of what will happen if you really get down and get this thing done. And it don't take all week. When you do two hours of cold calling, you do two good hours of cold calling. Stop playing. And don't leave till you get ten packages out. Yeah, start doing that. Let's stop worrying about how, the time. I was here two hours. No, I was here for five packages. Let's do that. Yeah. I was here for ten packages. I was here for three packages. I was here for an hour and a half. I was here for three packages. That's what they teach you at the Sweat Hawk course. First day I came out of the Navy, March 12th, 1989. Uh, First day out of the Navy into the 12 week real estate course. Taught us one thing how to sell real estate better. Right? Come in the office down like in the morning. Days of pain is what he called it. What's that? When you get up in the morning, you go in the office, 9 o'clock, open the cold call in the book, and call until you get an appointment. If it takes you five hours, so what? When you get one, you get out of there. 15 minutes, you work 15 minutes, you're done for the day. You know what I mean? Days of pain. We got all kind of contacts. He said, let me tell y'all something. I had to come in the morning, 9 o'clock, worst time of day to call. Anybody end up there in the morning? But look what y'all did. You guys got all kind of sales and listings in the morning. What happened if you call during the, the, the evening hour when everybody's home? <coughs> Well, you know, just show us. Wow. So you can call any time of the day. Ain't nobody. I see folks get the books. I'm looking at Ain't no. They on the book looking at Ain't nobody home on the street. <laughs> <laughs> ain't nobody got no good credit on this block. On a thousand names down. They ain't calling nobody. They look like they just paid. I'm like, you gonna look in the book? And I'm like, yeah. They look at I just paid. Ain't nobody home on this street. No folk. Ain't nobody home in Norfolk. <laughs> you know what I mean? Open the book and call. Shut up and call. And keep calling. 
Call till you get something. Don't, don't come forget that two hours. Don't ever come in here again and call for an hour, two hours, and, and leave with nothing. You know what I mean? Stop coming in here and say, I'm calling for Come in. You can call for one hour. Not, you got to do, do one hour. Don't do two hours. But do one good hour. You know what I mean? Call till you get something. Stop leaving out of here empty-handed. Because very <laughs> valuable time of yours coming in here. Let's make it worth something. Stop leaving out of here afraid of nothing. Coming in here with nothing. You cold call because you're afraid to get to release yourself from all them comfort zones. You know? And you got to clean up your house. Get organized first. All right, let me get you guys out of here. Okay. Um, on the phone, you sound scared. You sound like your attitude. You got a bad attitude. Okay, thinking about it, thinking about it, maybe. Okay, we're going to mess with um, the buyers. I didn't want to get those up there. Who's Mario? Is that the wrong card? Yeah, so here, that's what I want, right? Uh, tough call. These are objection handling techniques. Okay, hello. Go to Rob first. Hello, Mr. Um, um, Mr. Davis. This is Mr. Jones. Uh, we received a postcard from your company today. Do you work in Suffolk? Yes, I do. Okay, bye. That's all I get? Yes, I do? I just told you I got a postcard on my door. Do you work in Suffolk? You say, yes, I do. So you're going to tell me? So you got to tell me? Okay. I don't talk much, so. You do you? Yes, I do. Mr. Davis? Mr. David, <laughs> you still there, sir? He must have hung up. No. Okay. We do the same thing. Hello? Yes. Mrs. Uh, is that Shankery? Granby. Mrs. Granby? Yes. We received a postcard from your company today. Okay. Do you work in Suffolk? I sure do. What can I help you with today? You looking to purchase, purchase the home? Well, we're thinking about it, you know. Okay, all right then. Well, what we're doing right now is we got a free pre qualification service we got going on to see if we can get you qualified to purchase a home. Uh, what kind of home are you looking at? You looking to buy a suffer? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> don't call me if you ain't ready to hear no music. Don't, don't, give me, me don't call, call me if you ain't ready to hear everything I got. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I ain't going to be like, yes, I do. That's it. Mm. They're like, you really want to say nothing else? You know what I'm saying? So you got to say, well, yes, I do. Or do you live in Suffolk? Do you live in something? My turn. Oh, you, oh, you, you to open up the Pandora's box now. When I get done with you, I'm going to have a, a, a pre-crawl sheet filled with all your info. Uh, you know on it. That's what I'm going to stop talking. Yes, I'm going to stop talking. You got something to say? I'll listen. You know what I'm saying? But if you ain't talking, I'm talking. You know, I got to give you something. Right? Yes, That's it. Yes, it. Sonia Ablon. Hello. Hello. Um, I need information on how to purchase HUD or VA homes. Come into our office. <laughs> um, <laughs> I need information on how to purchase HUD or VA homes. Can I have your name and number? Mr. Jones, 555-3838. Five, 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 three, three, Mr. Jones, can I ask you a few questions? Sure, go right ahead. How long have you been on your job? 20 years. How many kids do you have? Three. How's they ain't buying their own work. They ain't buying their How's your credit? Credit's pretty good. How's yours? Outstanding. Good. What type of house are you looking to buy? Um, ranch. Okay. What city are you interested in? I told you Suffolk. No, you didn't. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Right. That was an that was agent I called named Rob and he said one thing, said, said one thing to the other one and he said, all I was, yes, I do it. He held the wheel. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to take this information and, then, and get with the loan officer and have him give you a call. Okay, I'll okay. check back with you. Uh, that's, you know, she was garbage with it, you know what I mean? She was in there a little bit, you know what I mean? At least she tried to keep him alive. She, she, she was the light on right now. She's like, uh, right now, she's she, she talking right now because she knows, you know. So she know how to get it on when she want to get it on, you know what I'm saying? But the thing is, it's got to be natural to you. It's got to be, you know, can't be no, no, no time. Um, my landlord placed a letter on my door saying the owner is going to sell the unit I live in. Now, are you available? Are you qualified to buy? Are you planning on buying it? What'd you say? <laughs> are you planning on purchasing the house? No. Or would you like to purchase the house? Mm hmm. <laughs> now, when do you have to move out? How, we how got 30 days, he said. 
Hey, why don't you come into the office or um, let me get some information so we can find out how much you qualify for. Mm -hmm. How's your credit? Okay, I will see you in a while. Uh, what's your, your um, full name? Uh, uh, what? what? <coughs> full name. You're going to toast me this week. You know what? No, I have two R's. You're out! <laughs> ah, I can't. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So when you start ah, 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 and all that kind of stuff like that, you know I mean? You, mm -hmm. Your game is weak. All right? Can you help me uh, get out of a real estate transaction that I'm very unhappy with? Sure. Who's your agent that you're currently working with? Some techie agent over there, a uh, name that Rose Wamba or something. Okay. Was well, any way you can come into the office and uh, we can sit down and talk and figure mm -hmm. out what, what exactly you want to do? Okay. Tell me. So you get on. Get on quick. You know what I mean? Turn, put that monkey, get that monkey, ah, get that monkey, ah, get that monkey on their back. Mm -hmm. You know, don't let them be in control of you. I tell you what, you serious coming off? Let's talk about it. I mean, I got all kinds of, all, what, what, a whole bag of stuff to do. You know, I ain't giving a take everything I got until I know you. You know what I'm saying? Let's do a fair trade. You get serious.